Before we begin creating documentation for our building model, let's define the rooms in the project. To do this, I'll switch to the first floor plan view. Next, I'll click the room icon on the ribbon. Defining rooms is quick and simple. With the room tool active, notice Revit places a bounding box around my cursor. When I drag the cursor into a closed room, meaning an area with walls on all sides, the bounding box expands so that it takes up the entire room. All I need to do now is click and the room is defined. Now I could press escape to exit the tool, but Revit keeps it active so I continue defining other rooms. I'll define the rest of the rooms on the first floor, and once they're all added, I'll press Escape on the keyboard. Once all the rooms are added, you have the ability to rename and renumber the rooms. I'll rename this room to Living Room. This is the Garage. And this is a Bathroom. Now I can switch to the second floor and repeat the process. I'll click the room icon and click in each of the rooms to define them. However, notice when I get to the second floor balcony, Revit also wants to include the area above the stairs and also the area between the balcony and the curtain wall. I just want the balcony by itself, so I'm going to press Escape for now to exit the tool, and I'll show you how we can do this after I rename the other rooms. Fair enough? Okay, this room is going to be the master bedroom. This is another bathroom. And we've got a closet over here. And finally, the guest bedroom. All right, now let's take care of the balcony. You might have noticed the room tool has a drop-down menu. Now if I click to expand it, you can see I have the ability to create room separation lines. This lets you close off a room boundary when there's not a wall to do so automatically. I'll launch the room separation line tool and simply trace around the edge of the balcony using the line tool. Once I've created the separation line, I'll press Escape to exit the tool. Now when I launch the Room tool again, you can see that only the balcony area will be contained in the room. I'll click to add it, press Escape, and finally I'll rename this room to Loft. Pretty simple. And that defines all of the rooms in the project.